Okay, let's start doing some examples with uh, reference triangles. So here's example one. Theta, this angle theta, is associated with the point 2 comma 3, and we want to evaluate uh, basically just all six trig functions of theta here. Okay? So we just want to evaluate those. Um, so remember this phrase associated with, so we talked about that a bunch of videos ago. Uh, that just means that the, uh, first of all, theta is an angle in standard position, which means vertex at the origin, initial side on the positive x-axis. Uh, and the terminal side of theta goes through this point 2 comma 3. Okay, remember that's what associated with means. So, um, now we've done some problems like this before, and, but the point that we dealt with was on the unit circle. Okay? So remember the very first thing we did was uh, we checked if, uh, we actually verified that the point was on the unit circle, and how do we do that? Uh, we plug the coordinates of the point into the equation of the unit circle. Okay? So this is the equation of the unit circle, so any point on the unit circle is going to satisfy this equation. And likewise, uh, if a point does not satisfy this equation, then it's not on the circle. So if we plug in, you can kind of probably already think about it, see right away, but if we just plug it in, uh, then we get 2 squared plus 3 squared. Uh, so 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so that's 4 plus 9. Okay? And that's uh, 13, which is totally not 1. Okay, so the, uh, this point, the coordinates of this point, uh, they don't satisfy this equation. So this point is not on the unit circle. Okay? And that's too bad because, uh, remember, when we dealt with points that were on the unit circle, the cosine of theta was just the x-coordinate, the sine of theta was just the y-coordinate. Um, and it was pretty simple with that. But now it only gets uh, slightly more complicated since now we're off the unit circle. The idea is pretty much the same. Um, and we did talk uh, briefly in the previous video, uh, kind of gave a general overview of how to approach ones like this. But it really depends on what quadrant you're in. So, and also kind of depends on how the question is phrased and what information you're given. So um, with this example and the next few examples, we'll see uh, variations on that. So we'll see different types of questions we can be asked um, where we use reference triangles. Okay, so let's get started with this example then. So the first thing we want to do is just plot this point 2 comma 3. Okay, so let's come over here and uh, make an x-axis and a y-axis. So 2 comma 3, that's in the first quadrant, right? So let's put our focus on the first quadrant here. Okay, so x-axis, uh, y-axis. So uh, 2 comma 3. Okay, so we'll put that somewhere up here. Okay, so not really to scale, but not terrible. Doesn't really have to be to scale, just want to get the quadrant right at least. So, uh, remember theta is associated with this point. Here's the point 2 comma 3. Okay, this is 2 comma 3. And since theta is associated with this point, remember theta has vertex at the origin, initial side on the positive x-axis. Okay, and uh, the terminal side goes through this point. Okay, remember that's what it means for theta to be associated with this point. So here's our angle theta. Okay. All right, now here's how we handle this. Uh, what we do um, is we, from, from this point 2 comma 3, we're going to drop a perpendicular down to the x-axis. Okay? And then we form this triangle here. This triangle right here, this is our reference triangle. Okay? So we're talking about using reference triangles to evaluate trig functions here. Um, and this guy right here, this is our reference triangle. Okay? So what do we do now? Well, notice since this is the point 2 comma 3, um, what can we say about this side and this side? Well, if uh, this here is the origin, 0, 0, okay, this is 2, comma, 3, so that means we have to go over 2, okay, so the length of this side is 2, uh, so we have to go over 2 and up 3 to get to this point, right? So we go over 2, so the length of this side has to be 2, and then we have to go up 3, so the length of this side has to be 3, okay, so that's 3. Okay, so we go over 2 and up 3 to get to this, um, and now that we have this side and this side, we can get the hypotenuse, so let's call the hypotenuse R, okay? Um, and how do we get a hypotenuse? Remember, from a right triangle, uh, we can get the hypotenuse if we just uh, do the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem says, uh, let's switch colors here, it says r squared equals uh, 2 squared plus 3 squared, right? So r squared is uh, 2, so 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so that's 4 plus 9. We actually kind of did this earlier, right? Uh, so that's 13. So basically, uh, r squared equals 13, okay? So then we just take a square root of both sides. So then r is going to be the square root of 13. Okay. Now, yeah, I've said it before in a few videos. When you take a square root of something squared, you have a positive and a negative root. But um, when we're dealing with the hypotenuse here, we just want to let r be positive because we're talking about the length of the side of a triangle. But um, really, more importantly in this context, it's, we're talking about the hypotenuse, and we want to always keep the hypotenuse positive. Okay, so just let r be the positive square root of 13. Okay. Um, okay, so then r equals... Let's go ahead and write down what that is. So r is the square root of 13. Okay, we just found out. Okay, 
So now, um, well now what? Now this is pretty much just a right triangle trig problem, right? So, um, you know, forget about being associated with this point now. We, we're done with that. We can forget about that point now. Um, all we have to do is uh, forget about all the stuff out here. Just look at this triangle. 2, 3, root 13. So we have all three sides of this right triangle, and we want to know uh, the values of these trig functions. So all we have to do is just remember right triangle trig um, and just go from there. Okay, so remember uh, cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So cosine of theta is 2 over root 13. Okay, so cosine of theta is uh, 2 over root 13. And again, if you were one of my students, that'd be an okay answer because there's nothing wrong with having a square root in the denominator. But if you have to rationalize, then you multiply the top and the bottom by root 13. So you get 2 root 13 over 13, which I don't believe is more simplified than this, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. So anyway, cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, 2 over root 13. And again, if you have to rationalize the denominator or if you insist on doing it, multiply by root 13 over root 13, okay, and you get 2 root 13 over 13. Okay. Uh, so anyway, sine of theta, what's the sine of theta? Uh, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of theta in this case is 3 over root 13. Okay, so this will be 3 over root 13. And again, if you were one of my students, that's a perfectly acceptable answer. Um, but if you had to rationalize for whatever reason, or if you really wanted to, just multiply by root 13 over root 13. Okay? Then you get 3 root 13 on top. Root 13 times root 13 just gives you 13 on the bottom. So let me erase this to keep it clean. Um, so then you'll just end up with 3 root 13 over 13. Okay. okay, and again, I don't believe that that's more simplified than that, but whatever. Um, okay, so tangent of theta, what's the tangent of theta? Remember, tangent of theta, in terms of right triangles, is opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta, in this case, is 3 over 2. Okay, so really, what are we doing here? We're really just doing right triangle trig now, right? That's really all we're doing. So this first example with reference triangles really wasn't too bad. Okay? Now, um, for these three, we can just totally forget about everything else and just focus on this. Okay? So secant of theta, what's the secant of theta? Remember, secant is the reciprocal of the cosine. The cosine is 2 over root 13, so if we take a reciprocal, uh, remember that just means flip it, so we get root 13 divided by 2. Okay? Or if you um, had this here, then you would flip this and you'd get 13 over 2 root 13. Okay? And then you, uh, I'm assuming you'd have to rationalize that also. So then you'd do that, so then you get 13 root 13 over 2 times 13. Okay? So these 13s would cancel and you'd end up with root 13 over 2. Which you would get immediately if you had your cosine of theta answer like this. So sort of another argument uh, against rationalizing the denominator in this case. So sometimes it's a good idea, sometimes not. Um, but anyway, secant of theta is just the reciprocal of the cosine of theta. Cosine of theta is 2 over root 13, the reciprocal is root 13 over 2. Okay. Likewise, cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of the sine of theta. Sine of theta is this guy, 3 over root 13. So the reciprocal is root 13 over 3. Okay. Um, or similarly, if you uh, wanted to go from this answer, you'd have 13 over 3 root 13. You would rationalize the denominator just like we did uh, over here. We just erased it um, with 2 root 13. Um, but anyway, it's pretty much be the same thing, and you still end up with the same answer. Okay. Just a tiny bit more algebra to do. And cotangent of theta, remember that's, uh, so we can think of that as cosine uh, divided by sine, or we could say it's just the reciprocal of the tangent. So if tangent of theta is 3 halves, the reciprocal is 2 thirds, and that's what the cotangent is. Okay, okay so uh, that's it for example 1 of using reference triangles. So as far as problems with reference triangles go, um, this really wasn't terribly complicated. Uh, so the, really, uh, the only tricky thing is we had to be careful because this point is not on the unit circle. So we can't automatically say cosine is the x-coordinate, uh, sine of theta is the y-coordinate. We can't just say that. Okay, we have to be careful because this point is not on the unit circle. Anyway, uh, more complicated examples with reference triangles coming up in the next few videos.